Welcome back, guys. Today we'll be doing January 2021, CSEC question number two. Let's get started. Question 2A is asking us to factorize the following expression completely. Here we have 12n squared minus 4m times n. First, if you realize 12, we can rewrite 12 as four times three. And n squared is the same thing as n times n. Then I have minus four m n. So what I have here, it's the same thing as the above expression. It's four threes is 12 and n squared is n times n. And the only reason why I rewrite 12 as four times three and not six times two, because here I have this to be four. And I know that four can go into 12 three times. So I can rewrite the 12 as four times three. When we're factorizing, we're factoring out what is common. So if you look at this, I have four being common here, so I can factor out the four. I also have the letter N being common, so I can factor out one of the N. So I factor out the N and what is left within my bracket? As you can see, the three is not circle along with one of the N, so I have a three N here. Along with, after the minus sign, I have a N. And this will be the answer. So we factor out four N, this four and this N, and we're left with three N minus N. Good. Now, the next question is asking us to show that X over X, one minus X minus four X is similar to what I have here. So writing this, we have X over one minus X minus four X. So I'm going to work on getting the left hand side to be the same as the right hand side that I have here. First, let's look at numbers. If I say a third minus a half, we will find the LCM of this, the LCM of three and two, LCM is the lowest common multiple, that will be six. So let's put this for x over one. So the LCM for this, one minus x and one, in other words, some students will say it's three times two is six. So you'd say one minus x times one, that will give you one minus x. But the lowest common multiple for this is like finding the LCM will be just one minus x. So just like what I said, the LCM for three and two, is six is the same case the LCM for one minus x and one is one minus x. If there was a two here, then it would be two times one minus x. Now, when we're doing the LCM, we say three into six goes two times. So I multiply two times one to arrive at two here. It is the same scenario. One minus x into itself goes one times. So I multiply the numerator by one. So one times X, that's X, have a minus sign. Now here, my denominator is one. So one into one minus X, that will give me one minus X. So I have this being multiplied by one minus X. Then I multiply four X times one minus X. That's gonna give me four X then 4x times minus x, that gives me minus 4x squared. Then uh, this distributing the sign, this will change to minus, and then this will change to plus. So we have x minus 4x plus 4x squared all over one minus x. Now x minus four x, we can reduce that. So x minus four x, that's minus three x 
plus 4x squared all over 1 minus x. Now, please know that x is the same thing as 1x. So 1 minus 4, that gives us a negative 3. Then we rewrite the x. Then we have the plus 4x squared. Now, remember it's a proof. We're trying to prove the above right here. And right now it's not looking like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite here where I'm going to have the 4x squared first and the minus 3x second. So I have 4x squared minus 3x all over 1 minus x. Finally, we factor out what's common. X is common in the numerator. So what we're left with is 4x minus 3 all over 1 minus x. And as you can see, it's proven. Now, hence solve. When you see hence, it means we have to use the information from before. So we already proved that x over 1 minus x minus 4x is the same thing as this expression here. So I'm going to replace it over this side. So this is the same as x, 4x minus 3 all over 1 minus x equal 0. Now, first, I'm going to get rid of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 minus x. So multiply both sides by 1 minus x. This cancels. So I have x, open bracket, 4x minus 3, and then 0 times 1 minus x, that will be 0. So we have x is equal to 0, and then we have 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. So we separate it, x is equal to 0, then 4x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we're trying to make x be by itself, so we carry the minus 4 over. So we have 4x is equal to positive 3. Then we divide both sides by 4. So this cancels, so x is equal to 3 over 4. So the solution is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3 over 4. The next question, we are uh, make v the subject of the formula. So I need to make v be by itself. So what I'm going to do, since I have a square root, to get rid of square root, I will square both sides. So we square both sides. So this becomes p square is equal to square root cancels the square. So I have 5 plus vt. Then carry the 5 over, so it becomes negative. So I have p square minus 5 is equal to v. T. Then we divide both sides by T. This cancels, so V is equal to P squared minus 5 over T. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.